Okay, good morning, colleagues and friends. So, okay, this is what we've come out actually from this exercise. So the, the green one, which basically answers the questions, what new idea, if any, opened your eyes yesterday? And what is your most significant insight or learning? So, so far, we've categorized your answers. And apparently, on that side, um, some of you actually got struck with the device that we used yesterday, the clicker device. So that sort of created interest. In fact, some of you are interested in using that also in your respective organization. And then, of course, um, the innovative platform is a new concept for you. And that sort of also open up and give you some idea on how you can apply that in your organizations. And. Uh, and of course, the emerging concept of agricultural innovation system. Yesterday, we got a really good um, transitions of concepts from the conventional way of the way we do extension until the agricultural innovation system. So that sort of actually helps us um, delineate, you know, our our mi mindset of doing extensions. And uh, yeah, I think that's all for number one. Concepts and principles. So I think it's pretty clear now what uh, in, uh, innovative platform is. And on item number two, what we do not understand or what needs more explanation for you, there are three, in fact, only two categories here. The first one is on everyone is interested to hear more explanations or probably strategies on how to address conflict. So it's more of conflict management. And then secondly, um, we want to hear more from our resource person on how to basically implement uh, innovative platforms. So there are some items there. They want to know more on the practical um, procedures and how to go about with the innovative platforms. And someone also wants to know more about the social network ana analysis, which is one of the um, method to, to do um, innovative platform. I think that's all we have. Thank you, Ronan. So, innovation platforms. Uh, I would like to uh, also uh, raise some uh, interesting ideas that you uh, wrote on new insights or ideas that stood out. And for instance, um, one pointed out it is not it is okay not to come up with uniform or certain agenda or conclusion by the end of the innovation platform process. So I, I interpret that as you're saying, it's not one size fits all, but that even how you uh, begin uh, establishing your innovation platform has to draw from the potentials, uh, the particular situation, in other words, social, uh, cultural, if I remember what Ido said, a uh, social cultural system, even historical uh, system, uh, the history of that particular community. Um, let me see. Um, and these sets of cards are saying that the main realization is that uh, the um, agriculture innovation system is not a single or linear process, but rather involves all stakeholders. This is a this elaborates it, involves all stakeholders to discuss for a particular issue and should come up for a solution or common response. Co-development of innovations is now the current trend. Solutions to agricultural problems involves the interaction of all stakeholders, farmers, policymakers, market, academe, interacting different actors. So uh, that was an important uh, realization. Now, it's also a good sign that there are more green cards, more new learning and insights, and fewer questions. Uh, and now, uh, perhaps I can invite Ido to, not to answer the questions, but just to address if uh, he would like to tell you that there are resources and so on and so forth, or, 
what else is in store this morning. So thank you very much for this very, very useful feedback. It is indeed very useful for, for me and for us to have. In terms of the various uh, input points, I think I'll focus on two right now. The first is, in terms of what I see here on the pin cards, there seems to be a lot of questions on how to manage conflicts in teams, how to manage dominant people in focus group discussions and so on. We touched about that briefly yesterday, but clearly there's, there's more of a desire to go into the practicalities of that. We will not have time to go into that today, but what I will do is I'll make available to you via email a few resources that go into that more in depth. Um, what we might consider doing from Ilri's side as an add-on is maybe to add another specific module or mini module just on that to the online resources um, to make it more easy for various participants to digest and practice. What often works very good for these things is not just the theory of it, because one can hear the theory of it and understand everything, but then still feel a little bit constrained to implement it. There are things like role plays and exercising it would really play a big role. So I'll make resources available to you, but my strong advice would be to find, you know, a safe environment, practice with your colleagues at work and so on. If you have uh, this as a challenge in some of the work that you're implementing to, to deal with how to deal with uh, conflict in a constructive way whether it's one-on-one uh, -on -one or, and more relevant here, as part of groups and innovation platforms. So that's the, the first thing. The second main thing I'm, I'm hearing um, is, okay, the theory is very useful, but how do I put this into practice now? Yeah? For that, I actually have a slightly better answer, which is, this is what we'll be doing today. So in today's session, in the morning session from here until lunchtime, we will be doing two things. The first, you can probably guess, what will we be talking about? The reading, yes, the case study, the milk it case study. And the idea there is to take a real case study, because this is a case study based on a real life case, and discuss the principles and how they're applied and to put you in the driver's seat in terms of um, designing and implementing such platforms and what are the things to look for and what elements from yesterday's theory do we see being applied, would we apply them the same way or differently and so on. So that would be the first foray. The second part of the morning what we will do is we will then look really at your priorities. So we would look at specific individuals from this group of participants who think they either currently have or wish to propose a real project within their work that will involve innovation platforms. And we will form groups around these individuals and help them flesh out their planning. And then we will do some cross sharing in the plenary and look at how that can be strengthened onwards. Yeah, so hopefully some of you who really have this as a burning desire in your current work and not just as something theoretical for the future can walk out of this uh, workshop with some uh, concrete support into your next steps. So I hope that will address some of the things that I'm hearing on the second main thrust. And with that, I hand it back to Sel. So thank you. Um, that's, I'm done and you, we are done for the recap for uh, the transition from yesterday to today. And so I hand it back to you. Okay. 